Hey all, Juicy Absolute here again. Welcome to Inside the Mind of a Trophy Hunter, which is another series that I want to do on the channel describing my progress on how I go about assembling said trophies and gaining the achievements over time and eventually coming to the platinum and, and gaining the platinum trophy. As a trophy hunter, I've been through 51 current uh, trophies dating back from 2017 so right now we are working on super meat boy which is actually the video that's running in the background at the moment this is not the platinum trophy this is the one right before the platinum trophy hits but i wanted to go into detail in this video more so than the next video because i'd like that one to showcase the platinum trophy of course so without further ado let's get into it this one took a little bit it's all about finding patterns in each and every level that you go to. If you find the pattern in each level, you won't have to worry about messing up. I think that's first and foremost what, what a lot of people get overwhelmed with is the fact that they're worried about messing up. Once you find developed patterns in the, in the gameplay itself, there's no need to feel like you've messed up. There's no need to feel like you're gonna mess up. So first and foremost, I think the most important rule when it comes to hunting trophies in general is simply to believe in yourself no matter what game you are playing. Believe that that game has a potential to hit that platinum trophy no matter what. No matter how hard or how easy it is, no matter if you're playing Super Meat Boy or Dark Souls or you're playing a much easier, more simplistic type of game, that really doesn't matter. At the end of the day, you can get it done no matter what process you, you use. It's all simple in the end if you follow just basic steps, but you have to first and foremost believe in yourself that you can achieve any game status no matter what. I was just practicing. And that's, at the end of the day, I wasn't thinking that I was going to beat it. I was simply just practicing. As you can see, like, after after each level, I didn't pick and choose the level I was going to go to next. I was simply just going through and uh, vibing <laughs> through the game itself. And that's what I assumed to do to get the trophy anyway. And up here is where I walk close to the saw blade. That's just so I can see my jump from the ground as Mrs. Meat Boy leaves that trail of white. How I usually go about it is anytime that I envision a game that I want to play, I always start small, one step at a time, making sure that you're not getting all the trophies and, and placing them all together. If you are ever feeling overwhelmed about a game that might that you might think is potentially out of your reach. Start small and simply just play through the game. And right now, all I'm doing is just going fast and cruising through the level because I'm not worried about dying once again. I think that's a very overwhelming thought to think about during these runs. So that's why I go into full on practice mode and just say, hey, I'm just gonna practice this and we're just gonna see where it goes. There's no need to develop this unwanted pressure of potentially dying on an existing run to where that was the hardest level that I just finished by the way level 20 and there's no need to you know put that unwanted pressure to say hey I might potentially die here you know I got to be careful there's no time for that and if you end up doing that you will never finish your runs I promise you you have to change your mindset about it you know how I how I usually go about my playthroughs. My first playthrough of a game is usually just getting a feel for the game and understanding the game mechanics and and trying to understand as much of the lore as I can during that first playthrough. My first playthrough is very rarely ever trophy runs. My trophy runs exist outside of the realm of the first playthrough, whatever trophies I grab conveniently. My second run through is usually where I begin my trophy run and I start small even then. And I advise people to get used to the mechanics of the game and get used to the lore of the game before you end up doing anything overtly difficult. That's first and foremost the most comfortable thing that eases me into trophy hunting. My second playthrough usually consists of getting as many trophies on maybe the next difficulty up. My third playthrough would be the most difficult, usually like the super hard mode or super challenging, super impossible mode. Depending on how many difficulties it has, I usually just level up each playthrough, but it's not about being perfect. It's about getting the practical experience to say, hey, I can develop a pattern now in the system and I can beat it. 
because of that. And as you see, like each and every level, I have different patterns that I follow. It's about reaching perfectionism in the most imperfect ways, such as this, developing patterns and perfecting those patterns, but sometimes failing. 99% of the time failing, this is the 1% of time that I actually succeeded in this. I can't tell you how many times I actually went through each of these levels particularly, but I will say that when it came down to these levels, each one took about a little less than a week to fully accomplish. Um, Hour-wise, I can't tell you how many hours I put into it. It was definitely over about three of just going through these levels um, day in and day out, practicing. Whenever you're doing a run with repetitiveness, exactly like this one, you want to be able to practice it as much as you can. I mean once to twice a day. If you're not practicing it once to twice a day, you can't really expect to become attuned with the map in general, and therefore your practical information about the stage just kind of goes away over time. With my development within this game and, and within the trophies that I go after, I make sure to practice, if I need to, I make sure to practice the movements every day to make sure I'm mechanically ready for that one day when I when I still feel it's practice, but that one day when it's actually a run like this. There's no way of predicting a run like this, so at that point, just by saying that it's practice actually gets you over that overwhelming mountain that a lot of people it might be overbearing for. If you don't change your mindset about it, it can become very overbearing because then the pressure continues to get to you and you don't know how to deal with that pressure. But if, if you never have the pressure to begin with and you say, this is all just practice, then it comes down to simply just applying and executing. And that's exactly what I do, not only in this game, but the rest of my trophies. That's how I go about it. I apply and I execute and I don't worry about the results because I know the results will come eventually as long as I have the practice in, and as long as I continue the practice. And like I said, one to two runs a day on this game, for instance, is how I achieved the majority of the trophies in this game anyway, especially just the deathless runs. I'm just so shocked. Um, I had to turn on the camera too. I, I wasn't expecting it. I expect when I go into a game, to be playing up to about seven playthroughs because that has happened in the past with Resident Evil 7. I'd say that was my longest playthrough. I think I had to go through the game about seven times. So any Dark Souls game, I've gone up to New Game Plus Plus Plus. It really depends on like what you're willing to do as, as a trophy hunter, but certainly comes with a depth of passion behind it and a depth of like, oh, this is fun and this is a challenge. So it has to be a mix of like a fun challenge. If it's not a fun challenge to me, I usually just move on. I think one of the biggest parts of trophy hunting in general is being able to practice the patience that goes along with a long trophy hunting achievement list or something along those lines. Patience that exists within the trophy hunting in general definitely exists with patience that you apply to the real world situations. For instance, like maybe your career. Um, or maybe your personal life, or maybe a relationship of yours. But I always relate it back to if I can be patient and if I can continually practice patience in those styles of life, work, personal life, relationships, etc. If I can practice patience outside of the game and continually develop myself outside of the game, inside of the game becomes a lot different. Outside of the game, with relationships in regards to relationships and work those are very uncontrolled environments those are environments that are simply out of your control emotionally sometimes sometimes things might go one way that you expected to go another way or something like that so when it comes back to video games you have an easier time with the practice patience that you learn outside of video games then you bring it into games you have an easier time in a controlled environment whenever you're choosing to play the game. Now you're choosing how to feel during that game too. So that's a big game changer when you practice patience outside of the game and then you bring it back to a controlled environment. When you practice patience outside in an uncontrolled environment,
environment and you bring it in an, in a controlled environment that makes all the difference and gives you full control of exactly how you want to feel during the game so my advice would be to continue practicing patience to continue practicing building just your mental self and overall remember at the end of the day when it comes to platinum trophy hunting it's all about growth but not only growth in the games that you play growth in the life you've expanded in general one thing that a lot of people love about video games including myself is the value of perfectionism but one thing that a lot of people don't understand is that when it comes to perfectionism you have to let your imperfect side show and if you expect to be perfect in a game you have to fail many many times and with trophy hunting you will fail many many times i know that in um in, in games like celeste and of course super meat boy i've died tens of thousands of times when I used to compete in uh, Super Smash Brothers tournaments back five years ago, six years ago, I must have I must have failed over thousands upon thousands of times. So remember, relate relate it back to real life situations, and then bring it back to trophy hunting. Fail a fail a thousand a million times in your regular uncontrolled environment of life and bring it back to a controlled environment and it becomes a lot easier to fail there because you are choosing to play said game you are choosing to be to be in that spot and you are therefore once again just relating back to life please don't be afraid to let your imperfect side show back to believing that you know platinum trophies are all possible the one thing that definitely gets me through all of these games combined there is one constant for sure and it is confidence but confidence is not knowing you can just beat the game confidence is knowing that you can do so but also on top of that not comparing yourself to other trophy hunters or not comparing yourself to anybody in general remember your journey is your journey no matter how long it takes someone else doesn't mean you're going to take that long or doesn't mean you're going to finish uh, faster than said person you have your skill set they have their skill set so the main factor is confidence in not comparing yourself as a trophy hunter or yourself as a person to anybody else in the room or to anybody else around you or maybe to anybody else you're relating to at this current point you need to know that your journey is your journey and you will get to that trophy no matter how long it takes don't be afraid to look at guides don't be afraid to look at uh, walkthroughs frequently asked questions etc because when it comes down to it we are better as a community watching other people do said thing it really does help because because then you can take notes and you can help to better your own gameplay and you can help to find strategies to get you to where you want to be in the game. But simply other than that, it's just having the will and passion to go the distance and to be diligent and consistent on it. When it comes to these trophies, being able to have collected over 50 in the last four years has been phenomenal to me and I feel like when I can collect platinum trophies and develop my perfectionism in the game, everything else outside in an uncontrolled environment no matter what goes wrong i feel like i have more control of the environment in general at least that's my take on it is i develop my perfectionism in the game so that so that way i don't have to develop my perfectionism outside of the game and life is just so much easier and simpler that way it's more fun to go about to be honest it's definitely helped me to become more of who i am and if you're curious about any other trophy hunting questions please feel free to comment down below and i can make sure to address it as soon as this video is done i hope i can find other people who are just as interested and we can build a community surrounding that.